Hello guys and welcome to this square, Sleeping Dog Square Enix character pack review. This is going to be a review on, uh, well, the what get in Square Enix character pack you, that you get off Steam and marketplaces. Okay, so first off we begin with the Sarif Industries armor, I think. Is that what the gameplay is showing? I hope so. In uh, this pack you get Jenkins armor, which is very nicely detailed, I must say. And you also get... Uh, oh yeah, the, it reduce, the armor reduces gunfire damage by 33% and comes with a futuristic fully automatic combat rifle. Uh, the combat rifle is uh, very awesome, I must say. The first, ti the first uh, time I got this, I got it for 29 pence of steam. I didn't know you got the weapons. And... Uh, I must say, the weapon is very, very nice, and uh, I'm just about to test this out, as you can see right here. Blasting out on the civilians. The gun sounds are very nice, I, won't know if you'll be, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. Well, the gunfire. But, uh, the gunfire is very nice, I haven't really found any particular problems with any of these weapons or outfits. But, uh, yeah, the gun is... Very, very nice. It has a special reloading animation for itself. And, uh, it, t for 29 pence, I think it's definitely worth the cost. Just keep on loading. Alright, and the next outfit we have is Agent 47 from the famous Hitman series. <laughs> the first time I saw this, it makes Way look absolutely ridiculous. But, uh, as a matter of fact, it's actually pretty nice. The detail is nice. You get the uh, special blood money pin on the front there, on the tie. And you also get the special signature weapon, the, uh, yeah, the silver baller. And as it says there, well, it did say, Agent 47 suit grants you reduced attention from the police and comes with a silence weapon. Ass assassinate your enemies with stealth, Hitman style. Uh, the outfit is very nice, very well detailed. Looks basically just like uh, Agent 47. So you've got the code on the back of his head, you've got the earpiece, and uh, just gonna show you the silver baller here. It's got a nice reflection, very nice detail on the weapon. Get a good suppressor. Just gonna start testing out the damage and all that stuff. It's a one hit kill from what I see here. Sorry if my aim is a bit off, I've been using a controller, but the damage is really nice with the weapon. Uh, they should, I, in my opinion, I think they should have put this in the base game. A silenced weapon in the base game, I don't know if they did. But uh, I don't think they actually did, because I played through that game once, almost twice. And uh, I don't think I did see a, uh, a suppressed weapon. But anyway, the silver baller has a very nice range to it, along with the uh, silence aspect of the weapon. It is nicely suppressed and the reloading animation is very nice. Uh, just gonna move on to the next pack in a minute. Just gonna go around the outfit now. Come on. Where is it? Waiting for Rico's outfit. Okay, here we go. And uh, next we have Rico's outfit from Just Cause 2. The Rico Rodriguez custom outfit allows you to hijack vehicles from a greater distance. Uh, you also get Rico's signature weapon right there, but uh, first of all I would like to say that this is very nicely detailed from the uh, grappling hook there on his uh, left hand to the uh, belt. I have not really played Just Cause 2 that much so I can't really say that much on it, but from what I've seen on the pictures and images that I've googled, it's very nicely detailed. I don't know if anything's actually missing from it. It is very, 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 very nice. I'm just gonna go outside and show you the outfit in daylight as well as the weapon. Just missed that combat roll just there, just ignore that. And in daylight you can see it, you can see the actual colours of it. The colours really match very well. I would just say that. <clears throat> just gonna go round once so you can see a full view of this outfit. And uh, now we move on to Rico's signature weapon. The weapon is very, very well detailed. I have to say that. I haven't really played Just Cause 2, so I wouldn't really know if it matches it. But uh, it is very nice. It is a very nice weapon to have. And the damage it does is actually really, really good. 
Uh, come on. Need to shoot somebody. Come on. Where is somebody? Looking for somebody. The gun sounds are actually pretty nice, and the damage is a one-hit kill, like any other weapon from Sleeping Dogs, I think. Well, apart from the 9mm pistol, I don't really like that pistol. I would... I would... Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of... Bit of stuff in my throat, that's not very nice. But, uh, yeah, the weapon is a very nice weapon to use. Uh, it's very nice to reload. I like the reloading animation, I like the sounds. Uh, the effects. Uh, the best weapon I would actually say I would actually give to the Silent Silver Ball, and that's the weapon I would actually use out of all of the three. But I like the assault rifle as well. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you decide whether to buy the sword or to definitely buy the prize in Steam, 29 pence. So uh, thank you for watching. Favorite, subscribe, like, and uh, goodbye.